Hey y'all, I'm Rick Allen, host of Rick's House Home Improvement Radio Show and Television Show. And I want to tell you something, it's bright out here this morning. I'm at Surplus Warehouse and I apologize for the sunglasses because don't let the sun fool you. It's 42 degrees, I promise you. It's cold as it can be. That's why we're going to get in there and find out how we can help you to save money in your house and help you not to let do it yourself or come do it to yourself. You never know who's going to be on the house. We appreciate you listening to us every Saturday morning 7 to 7.30 and every Sunday morning 5 to 5.30 right here on WPGX Fox 28. Come on in, let's see what they've got. Oh, well, it's Rick. He'll help you figure it out Cause it's Rick's house Okay, so we come inside to uh, Surplus Warehouse, and the first thing that caught my eye was the sunny wood cabinets here. This is the Cambrian. It's the maple finish on the outside. And you know, one of the things that we look for in a cabinet is that initial feel, that initial look, how it grabs you. And that's important, but that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is, is that you're finding a good quality cabinet that you can get for an affordable price, and it has the interior features that you need. My buddy Chris is joining me. Chris, you work here at Surplus Warehouse, you guys sell a little bit of everything. Tell us about, uh, do you move a lot of cabinets? You got a lot of styles. Can you help them design their kitchen? What, what all do you guys do? We actually do. Um, we'll help them uh, design any kitchen they have. Um, all we need to do is have them bring in our me their measurements for the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll you know, just come on in and we'll set all everything up that they need. Um, we'll carry a full line of cabinets in stock and we can special order uh, a couple other wines also. Right. So this, vintage, this Cambrian we do carry in stock. Yeah. Uh, and it's a real good seller. Yeah, a couple things we'll notice about the cabinets, Chris, you had pointed out to me, is the cabinets come not pre-drilled for hardware because you want to select the hardware that you want and you want to be able to put it in the location that you need to be. Maybe it's in the corner. A lot of times we'll put pools six or eight inches up on the door themselves, or maybe we've got a, a, a two-hole pool where we have to get our hand in there like that. I also have some nice little boxes, and I call these tea boxes. I'm not really sure what the purpose of them is other than to just put that stuff in there. The other thing I want to show you about this cabinet, now this is what's rare when we talk about cabinets. Most of the time the material around the box of the cabinet is a manufactured material. What we have here is actual 3 8 inch plywood with a veneer over top of it so that it looks pretty, but this is sturdy and it's going to last for you and if it gets wet it ain't going to go all to pieces if you get a little spill or something like that and plus a full front face that's actual wood itself. Nothing cheap about that, it's a good quality. Couple accessories that we talked about today, Chris. Tell us a little bit. What is this thing here? Obviously, it's a. We've got a wine rack here, okay. and uh, below it we've got the glass holder for the wine rack. Uh, this is one of the uh, accessories you can special order. We also have the dish plates as well as the uh, glass doors that you can put in. Okay, and I cabinets. think we've got a shot so, of that yep. over here that we'll take a look at here in just a minute. Um, what we would call a pantry on the end, uh, <clears throat> or it could also be a broom closet. Does it open both ways, or just? It can be set up to open either way. Uh -huh. um, normally it comes with the hinges on the left, but you can reverse it as needed. So anything so. can be, and, yep, anything it can all can be, be reversed. <laughs> yes, sir. Good storage here. Um, maybe we're putting cleaning supplies and stuff in the bottom, then we're working on pantry items here on the good. This looks like about an 18 inch pantry to me. Um, it's probably available up in two foot two as well. Yeah, yeah we've got 18 and 24 inch. 18 and 24. Yes, sir. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is, and maybe it's a little bit better over here. Let's move over here, Chris. Is when we talk about the type of hinges, <laughs> that we have on a cabinet door. We're going to see that this has a European res style recessed hinge. Now that hinge is routed into the frame. It also means that that hinge is adjustable. It's adjustable left, right, in, and out. And probably up and down. I'm not sure. I'll have yeah. to take a look at it. Left, right, in, out, up, and down. So once you get your cabinets all put together and you put your doors back on, then we can adjust and level those cabinets in and out, up and down, left and right to make sure that you got nice clean lines all the way across and things look good. Here we have a corner cabinet in this particular one. No Lazy Susan. We just went with a large corner cabinet in here. You can stuff a bunch of stuff back in there. That's a great cabinet. But if you look down below, this one comes with a Lazy Susan. And if you'll notice, it's a wooden lazy Susan, not a plastic one. Got a little extra strength and stability. Now, finally, Chris, y'all do a lot of countertops, and we're going to take a look at that in the building today. This is laminate. I know it looks like granite, uh, and it's amazing to me how far we've come. 
Used to, <clears throat> we couldn't do a rolled edge top like this in the laminate. Now we can do a rolled edge top. Look at the, the backspace. Instead of the big tall backspace, they've shortened this down a little bit to give it a little bit more contemporary look. And also, this comes in a lot of different styles. Y'all stock a lot of this here in the yes, building, sir. don't you? Yeah, I've got eight or seven different styles of laminate as well as uh, granite tops. Fantastic. We're going to take a look around some of the other cabinets and tops that are available here. And then, you know, we're not going to tell you where we're going next. It's going to be a surprise, but they've got new products here. And when we get to it, I'm going to show them to you. Hey, everybody, it's Rick Allen for Rick's House, and we're in aisle 17 at Lowe's. That's the ladder aisle. And I couldn't go down this aisle without giving you a Rick's House tip. You know, one of the things that we talk about when we think about ladders is, is the safety that's involved with that. We see more injuries and hear about more injuries in the construction business due to not taking the proper steps in order to make sure the ladder is secured against the house and it's safe. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you that it is very, very dangerous to be on a ladder and I want you to be careful. Also, make sure that you learn a few things about your ladders. The orange ladders that we have behind us are rated for 300 pounds. It's also a fiberglass ladder, which is going to give you durability and stability, but it's also going to give you that insulative quality when you're around electrical things. Obviously, we don't want to touch electrical wires, but we want to be careful. The blue ladders are, three, are 250 pound rated ladders, and the green ladders that you see are 225 pounds. I don't need to be on a 225 pound ladder. I've got to go orange. So listen, be sure that you take your time in ladder setup because even a small fall from here can hurt you. That's a Rick's House safety tip and we want you to be safe. All right, we found something special here at Surplus Warehouse and you know, many of y'all know that I've been working out at Workout 24-7 with my two trainers, Satan and Lucifer, and they're doing a great job. Just kidding, guys. Dwayne and Scott are awesome and they're helping me. But Chris and I have found out that you guys think that this is a forklift with a carpet spear on it so you can get it to linoleum, but that ain't what it is. It's a fat boy chin-up bar because this way I can hold on to it like this and achieve my first chin-ups in about 15 years. Chris, can you help me? I can help you. Hang on for more. You know, I grew up in a house as an electrician's son, and I figured out right fast that I didn't want to do electricity for a living. Why? Because it takes a professional. Let me tell you about the professionals at Keith and Sons Electric. Great friends of the Rick's House program, they are the electrical contractor that we like to recommend. Who's With over 15 years of experience, they've built their company servicing the residential community and doing the commercial stuff. Solar systems, new construction, remodeling, bucket truck service, pools, spas, jacuzzis, wiring, electrical generator installations, panel upgrades, gas station wiring, and more. Whether it's troubleshooting or repair, we want you to call the team at Keith & Sons Electric, 763-6599. That's 850-763-6599 or find them online at rickshouseradioshow.com. Go to game. Keith & Sons Electric, we make the impossible doable. Keith & Sons Electric, getting the job done from bucket trucks to small residential. Professional electric services done the way they should be. Keith & Sons Electric Company, a Rick's house favorite. Hi, I'm Dave Williams with Mid-South Lumber Install Pros. Do you have windows and doors that don't operate correctly? Is the glass fogged? Can you feel cold air coming in? Let the Install Pros at Mid-South Lumber replace those old windows and doors for you. Go from this to this, from this to this, and from this to this. Improve the looks of your home while increasing your home's value and lowering your power bills. Call me personally, Dave Williams at Mid-South Lumber Install Pros, 215-5185. That's 215-5185. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Katie. We want to take this chance to invite you to watch our reality show called Gears. Sunday nights at 9.30. On Fox 28. It's in a strain. Come on out. Ah! Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Well, I told you in one of the other episodes that I was going to tell you about some new things that, that are here at Surplus Warehouse, but it's not right now. I'm going to tell you that in another episode, and we'll, we, we'll share that in a minute. But what I am going to tell you about is some people th say I'm standing in the place I should be, in the toilets otherwise known as water closets. We call them toilets and that's what they are. And you know what, they've got a great selection. You say, Rick, isn't a toilet important? Well, yeah, it's important for a lot of reasons, but the main thing is, is when we talk about the quality of the toilets, and Chris is gonna come in with me and help me just a little bit. When we talk about, and Chris is here with us from Surplus Warehouse, you're one of the managers, and when we talk about toilets, there's several things that are important. Not just the price. A toilet is priced economically for the reason. We have different sizes of the hole in the toilet in the bottom side and the pipe that goes through the toilet, which will make the toilet either flush easier 
or harder depending what what's in there now the secret to it is is you want a good solid toilet that is medium priced and you'll get a good value would you have what would you add to that Chris I mean you guys have got a great selection here from elongated to just a standard round bowl yeah we've got elongated round bowl toilets and we've also got the different heights that's the other big that's difference the other issue, in, yeah is you know we've got 14 15 and 16 and a half inch heights oh that's so a great that's, point. yeah that's another thing just makes it a lot easier just getting up and down so yeah, so maybe if you're a little bit larger person like myself, or if you're an elderly person and it's not so easy, you can adjust that height so that you can have comfort when you have to take care of that. Now, the other things we talk about, pedestal sinks. Um, growing up in the 80s, I'm kind of a pedestal sink kind of guy. It's kind of a fan of that. Uh, Y'all have got a great selection with these. Tell us what, you, what we're offering with these today, Chris. I've essentially got three different size pedestal sinks. Um, I've got to the smaller ones, they're just real basic for smaller uh, bathroom or anything. Mm -hmm. um, something under the stairs, a lot of people use it in there if you've got a restroom yep. under if the stairs. If you've got that restroom under so, the stairs, that half bath yeah. when you first come in a two-story home. So yeah, uh, a lot of people really use good. the smaller ones in the uh, half baths. And we've got the large one down here. It's just a little more decorative. It's got room for a toothbrush and salt, soap, things like that. Uh, it's a good option if you still don't have a lot of room in a restroom, but you still want to have some that looks a little nice. That space. Yes, sir. And of course, it's got a, a fluted pedestal, which is really nice. And of course, we still got the old famous China drop-in sink. Uh, if you want to use a laminate countertop and you don't want a cultured marble top, you can cut a hole in there and drop the sinks in. Looks great. Put a faucet on it. We're going to see what else we can find here at uh, Surplus Warehouse. You know, here we are in aisle five. And as I go through the Lowe's store and I begin to pick out products that are important to Rick's house and, and should be important to you, one of the things that we see is the ProLab Mold Test Kit. Now. Let me tell you something, there's two ways to test your mold, test your mold, test the mold in your throw mold in your house. The first thing that we want to do is this is a $10 kit, but it's good to, for the initial test to see what we're dealing with. Now here's what we do. You take the test, you test one inside for indoors, you test one outside for outdoors. 48 hours, you compare the two, and it will show you if you've got mold growing. If you do, then it's time to call in a mold remediation professional to help you deal with it to assess the situation, but at least at the very minimums, this gets you started. It's a good idea, and it's something that every, ha every family ought to do and every household ought to look into. When you sit down with an accountant to plan for your financial future, trust counts. And when you choose a doctor to care for your loved ones, trust counts. And when you choose a roofing contractor to protect you from the storms, trust counts. Tadlock Roofing, when trust counts. Proud to be North Florida's only Owens Corning Platinum Preferred Contractor. To learn more, go to wintrustcounts.com. Wintrustcounts.com. Hey, y'all, being from the country, I've learned one thing for sure. Your equipment can be the difference in a good year or a bad one. That's why I choose Beard Equipment. Quality products like John Deere and Steel, chainsaws, tractors, lawnmowers, you name it, they've got it. Parts, service, and a team you can count on. Call them today, 850-769-4844. That's 850-769-4844. Remember, Beard Equipment, a team you can count on. 4625 Highway 231, Panama City, or online at Beard Equipment. You know, one of the good things that came out of the bad hurricanes in New Orleans was our friend Trudy and Jan came to Panama City, and guess what? They brought that Cajun place with them. Fantastic meals, Friday afternoon crawfish broils, and the great Cajun food. Good lunch specials, so let's go on in and see what they're cooking today. Hi, I'm Trudy White, owner and chef at That Cajun Place. Originally from home, Louisiana, I bring authentic Cajun cooking to Panama City Beach. We offer a variety of full boy sandwiches, all served on authentic French bread from New Orleans. Menu includes things like the Big Easy, the Houdat, Bayou Pub, and the Nolans. Also try a bowl of our award-winning chicken and andouille sausage gumbo with a half a po' boy for only $7.50. Every Friday night we have a Cajun seafood boil featuring whatever seafood is in season. Right now we're doing shrimp and blue crabs, including corn, potatoes, and mushrooms, and whatever else we can throw in the pot. It's like having New Orleans right here in Panama City. It's delicious. It's about being back home. It's great. And we're from Louisiana, and it is up to the park. Up to the park? Up to the park. Come join us at that Cajun place located at 8019 Thomas Drive, right next door to Salt Lake Tavern, where you can come and enjoy authentic Cajun cooking right on the beach. We're open from 11 to 9 Monday through Saturday and closed on Sunday. Go Saints.
Well, here I am in the middle of the DeWalt section and the tool section here at Lowe's, and Brad Staggs is nowhere to be found. That's surprising to me, but you know what? I did find him, and we got a segment on the program today I think you're going to enjoy. It's our new Tool School segment, and he's going to be telling you something really cool and showing you something really cool. Let's go over to Brad and see what's going on. Hey, it's Brad Staggs here in the Tool School Workshop, and if you dislike the cold as much as I do, I think you're going to like this. Mr. Heater, meet them. Say hello. We'll tell you what we think of him after we see the fact sheet. Right out of the box, Mr. Heater is pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, what you get in the box is the Mr. Heater unit itself. You also get the power cord and you receive the uh, propane hose. The only thing you'll need to add is a sea wrench. Once you have that, let's do a little walk around of the unit itself. On the back of the Mr. Heater, you see the, the fan unit and then the port for the electrical cord. There's also the port for the propane hose. Along the side, you have the propane control button that essentially starts the flow of propane. You have the thermostat or the output control, anywhere from 30,000 to 60,000 BTUs. And you also have the uh, on off switch. Now, what you want to do the first thing when you get this out of the box is to charge it up. And once you charge it, the flashing indicator light will stop flashing. You'll know it's charged. Make sure you do that first thing out of the box. Once you've done that, let's connect everything together. The propane hose connects, obviously, to the back of the heater unit and to the propane tank. Then open the valve on the propane tank itself. And here's where you need to pay particular attention. Make sure that you have the fan started before you hit the propane button. All right, what you'll, you'll hear, not only the fan running, but you'll hear the little igniter ticking. Hold down the propane control button. Once the uh, heater kicks in, much like any other propane heater, uh, you can release the button. That ticking may continue. Depending upon where it is in the cycle, it's going to tick for about 30 seconds. That's absolutely normal. That will stop, and uh, you'll just hear the sound of the fan running. This is not an exceptionally loud unit. That's one of the reasons I like it. This thing does not uh, put out a lot of noise. Uh, of course, you kick it up to 60,000 BTU, and you will hear that jet engine noise. So does a Mr. Heater work is what you want to know. Hell to the yeah. We've been testing Mr. Heater 60 here uh, for a little over a month or so in the uh, Tool School Workshop, about 600 square feet. This bad boy will heat this sucker up in no time at all. And well, just to give you a point of reference, let's turn it on. And again, very simple to do. How hot is it inside? Mr. Heater at just 30,000 BTU. How does 492 degrees sound? That's pretty hot. It is hotter than the 4th of July. But, that's the beauty of the way this thing is designed and engineered. It, it's insulated in such a way with the double walls that you can touch this thing on the outside uh, when this is just smoking hot inside and you're not going to get burned. So you don't have to worry about brushing up against it, uh, you know, in the, in the shop or wherever you are uh, and burning yourself on the outside of it. It is 66 degrees in the shop right now. We're going to turn on Mr. Heater and see what it can do in 10 minutes. So there you have it, six degrees in 10 minutes. I've actually seen it heat the shop up faster. Uh, it all depends, now to be fair, I had the uh, heater on one side of the shop and the thermometer on the other. So uh, yeah, it's, I think it's a fair test. This thing has not failed me yet. So I'd highly recommend it. The best thing about it, 14 pounds, battery operated. You can carry this anywhere, put it in the back of the truck, take it to the job site. Just remember to follow all the manufacturer's instructions and safety warnings. That's from our legal department. So from Tool School, we give the Mr. Heater MH60 CLP 60,000 BTU propane heater an A. All right, it's my favorite part of the show. It's a chance when we get to give you guys something and it doesn't cost you a thing. All you got to do is go to rickshouseradioshow.com. That's rickshouseradioshow.com and tell me why you need this do a fast coil nailer. Now this is something that's innovative. It's a cordless roofing coil nailer. 
but it's not just battery powered, it also has a fuel cell. It's the complete kit. It has four coils and nails, two batteries, one fuel cell, comes in a backpack with safety glasses and the cord. This is a $500 tool that our friends at DoaFast are giving you, and we want you to get it. comes with a full one year warranty as well. So here's how you get to us. Go to rickshouseradioshow.com and register to win. You gotta tell me why you need it, and we're gonna pick somebody to win it in the next couple months. It could be you. And I guess what, we're gonna throw in a Rick's House prize too, and I'll tell you what that is. That'll be a surprise. Thanks for listening to us today. Be sure and go to the website and register. Find us on Facebook or on Twitter. Thank y'all. Hi, I'm Dave Williams with Mid-South Lumber Install Pros. Do you have windows and doors that don't operate correctly? Is the glass fog? Can you feel cold air coming in? Let the install pros at Mid-South Lumber replace those old windows and doors for you. Go from this to this, from this to this, and from this to this. Improve the looks of your home while increasing your home's value and lowering your power bills. Call me personally, Dave Williams at Mid-South Lumber Install Pros, 215-5185. That's 215-5185. When you sit down with an accountant to plan for your financial future, trust counts. And when you choose a doctor to care for your loved ones, trust counts. And when you choose a roofing contractor to protect you from the storms, trust counts. Tadlock Roofing, when trust counts. Proud to be North Florida's only Owens Corning Platinum Preferred Contractor. To learn more, go to wintrustcounts.com. Wintrustcounts.com. Hey, y'all, being from the country, I've learned one thing for sure. Your equipment can be the difference in a good year or a bad one. That's why I choose Beard Equipment. Quality products like John Deere and Steel, chainsaws, tractors, lawnmowers, you name it, they've got it. Parts, service, and a team you can count on. Call them today, 850-769-4844. That's 850-769-4844. Remember, Beard Equipment, a team you can count on. 4625 Highway 231, Panama City, or online at Beard Equipment. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Katie. We want you to know we're proud to offer this area the best warranty on transmission repairs ever for as long as you own your car. Military and senior discounts, lifetime warranties, and transmission services starting at $49.95. Come, Come see us. us. Okay, I've been waiting to tell you and I've been telling you I was going to tell you. Now it's time to tell you. We got some new products here at Surplus Warehouse and my buddy Chris, tell us what we got going on here with the Begonia. Uh, right here what we've got is actually a corner shower. It's a 36 inch corner shower. Yeah. Um, it's one of the great deals we do have. Um, it's a, this is a really nice looking kit and I'm just going to pop this down just for a second so that we can take a look. You know, you got the shower pan on the bottom and look at this custom glass that comes with it. It's really attractive. It gives lots of room. And uh, what a great addition to that master bathroom. I think it's a wonderful product. And uh, I like that neat little sign. I need some of those for Rick's house. That's good. Let's move on down. Now, here we have something that's very common in the remodeling industry for us. And that's when we deal with a situation where we're going to take out, maybe we're going to take out um, a existing tile uh, you know, cast iron or steel uh, tub with the tile surround. And we're going to take that out. You're tired of that pink and black tile and you want to go to fuchsia and purple. No, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> you're tired of the pink and black tile and you want to go with something new that's fiberglass one piece. This is actually a kit, Chris, uh, that the tub is the one piece, the three sides are separate pieces. So we can get it through the door of the house. So when we do the remodel, we can get it in and put it back together. Uh, it's really attractive. You've got some nice detail in it and some little shelves built in. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is a real nice uh, display that we do have. Now, is this one called the decor? That's yeah. the, uh, yes, sir. That's, that's the, the decor. Okay, yes, sir. good. So here we go. If we're going to do a renovation on that bathroom and get it up to speed, uh, you're tired of the harvest gold or the uh, avocado green, they can take care of it here at Surplus Warehouse. You know, one of the questions I get asked a lot of times, whether it's on the radio show and, or I get an email we're going to talk about it on the television show today, is how to fasten things appropriately when we're talking about shutters or we're dealing with concrete. One of the things that I've learned, if you're fastening to a house that has masonry on it, I like to use a Tapcon. Now, a Tapcon is a hardened screw that's designed to go into a masonry uh, base and hold. Now what you do is, as you can see in this kit, the, the bit, the masonry bit is already inside. We take the masonry bit, preferably using a hammer drill, which doesn't only spin the bit, but pecks at the same time. Two things are very important to remember when using a masonry bit. 
If you get the bit too hot, you're going to burn it up. Okay? You want to per periodically pull the bit back out and remove the debris and make sure that you don't overheat the bit because it'll become dull and not work. Once you've done that, it creates a small hole. The screw itself is hardened so as it goes back in, it, it will fastens itself and create its own thread. Really good for putting shutters on uh, block houses and things of that nature down here. It's a great tip, something we use a lot of. And if you live in Florida, you better learn about Tapcons. All right, it's time we talk faucets and we're at Surplus Warehouse with Chris and we're, we're going to chat about that a little bit. I want you to look at the variety of faucets that they have here. There's a whole bunch of them, especially the high top faucets for washing big pots and pans and, and those kinds of things with the adjustable spray nozzles in the faucet itself so that you can spray, clean, do whatever you got to do. Put that back in there, Chris. That's always good when I tear the display down. But anyway, <clears throat> that faucet is $79, okay? If you look at the faucet straight above it, that faucet's $129. Depending on the brand of faucet that are, those faucets can go as up to $1,500 in the exact same style. Now, you say, Rick, what's the difference? The difference is, is that it depends on if you want a name brand, which I'm saying sometimes is good, or whether you want a faucet that's going to give you a good 10-year warranty, do a good function, and it's easy to change out and you get your money's worth. Was that a fair estimate, Chris? Yes, sir. Yes. So you've got everything from very bottom end, maybe you've got a rental property, you've got a, a, a mobile home, something that you, that you need that type of uh, fixture in. Not to say there's anything wrong with that because there's not, and I've lived in all of them. But what I'm saying is, is that if you need a $12 kitchen faucet, which is this one right here, they have it. But you can also step up and get a good quality faucet that's going to do a good job for you, uh, depending on how much usage you have and that kind of stuff. About 10 years average warranty on, yes, on most of the faucets. Yes, sir. Many of these faucets, y'all, are built by another company that will stay unnamed, but you would know them if I said it. Well, we hope you've enjoyed the show today. I hope it's as fun for you to watch it as it is for me to do. I'm so excited about being around town and, and finding the places that I can help you to find the materials and the things that you need to help you get your job done and get it done right. Remember, we don't ever want do-it-yourself to become do-it-to-yourself. That's why we're here. If you've got a suggestion about somewhere we should go and film or somebody we should talk to or a service we should know about, we'd love to hear from you. You can find us a couple places. You can find us at rickshouseradioshow.com, rickshouseradioshow.com. You can also find us an email by email at rickshouseradio at gmail.com. That's rickshouseradio at gmail.com. And you can find us on YouTube at Rick's House TV. That's Rick's House TV all together where you can watch all the episodes. Thank you for joining us on Fox 28 WPGX. And I look forward to seeing you again next Saturday and Sunday. Oh, well, it's Rick's House. If you got a question, he'll help you figure it out. Because it's Rick's House.